What is up, Posse? My name is Wolf Ronick, and welcome to another review here on Alpha Omega Wolf Productions. So, I'm joined by Megan. You've seen her before on the SmackDown live stream and a review for Avengers Endgame. So, we're going to here to talk about A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. This movie is directed by Mariel Heller and stars Tom Hanks, and this is not a biopic of the legendary Fred Rogers. Instead, it tells the true story of a journalist named Lloyd Vogel, who is a sign who wants to you know get to know Mr. Rogers. He wants to know if he's the real deal, if he's uh, the same person in real life that you see on TV. So uh, before we start, you know, this review, like, uh, what is your knowledge of Mr. Rogers? Because I know it wasn't very much. I hadn't had very much, but when he, when I was showed one video, he had really good advice, and then I kind of just started getting used to it from there. Yeah, because uh, Mr. Rogers, you know, was very well known for giving some excellent advice and, you know, talking to kids, you know, as if they were in individuals, not as if they were inferior to him. And I think that's what made Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood stand out among, the, among like, a bunch of other kids' shows. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why it was probably the longest-running kids' show ever. I mean, granted, uh, he stopped for a little while, but then he came back. Mm -hmm. And so when it was announced that they were making a movie about, you know, this particular story, um, I was particularly intrigued, um, mainly because of who they cast as Mr. Rogers, Tom Hanks, who is one of my favorite actors right now, because this is, I think it's his 11th film playing a real life person. Um, and... I'm just going to go out and say that at the end of this, I overall really liked this movie. I did too. Um, I think we can start by agreeing or agreeing that for anybody that has seen this movie, that uh, Tom Hanks as Fred Rogers was probably the perfect choice. So, like, I could not have picked a more perfect choice to play the legendary kids host. So, like, he captured the spirit of what Fred Rogers was supposed to be about. He was warm, he was charming, he was kind to everybody he came across, and uh, it's just a little side note, but I actually found out on social media that they're actually like six cousins, like Tom Hanks and Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> to totally random fact. <laughs> but anyway, back to the review. Um, I also like, you know, the journalist that they mm -hmm. center around, Lloyd Vogel. Yeah. Like, uh, he's seen as, you know, kind of a jerk uh, to start off with. But, you know, once you realize, you know, everything he's been going through, then you kind of uh, start to understand, like, you know, where he's coming from. And mm -hmm. you kind of feel a little sympathetic for him. Like, I know it's a little cliched, but they work off of it really well. Um, and I thought this was well shot. Mm -hmm. Like, I really enjoyed the cinematography. Like, uh, I also enjoyed, you know, how it almost looked like at times we were watching the actual show of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Because they had King Friday the 13th, they had uh, Lady Arendelle and Daniel the Tiger. Um, and overall, this had some very heartwarming messages, what did you think? I thought it did too, especially at the very beginning. No, we're not going to give away a whole lot because we actually think this is definitely worth seeing. Mm -hmm. um, I guess my only main concern of this movie was that I felt like the pacing was a little bit off. I did too. Because when it looked like it was about to wrap up, it looked like there was like still another 15 minutes left. And it, I just felt like it dragged on just a little bit too long. Yeah, I did too. But it, would, it didn't ruin my experience at all. So overall, with the... The exception of uh, a few pacing issues, I thought this was a fantastic movie. It had great performances, nice visuals, and overall some very heartwarming messages. And I highly think this is worth checking out. We were debating on whether to see this or Frozen 2, but to be honest, we weren't really in a rush to mm. see Frozen 2. No. I'll still go see it, but it'll probably be over Christmas break. Yeah, same here. Um, so for a grade, what would you uh, give this? I would say an A. All right, an A. Okay, I, I could do. I could see that. Um, I would probably give it an A minus. Uh, it's definitely going to be up, probably in my top favorite movies of 2019. 
Um, but it's not uh, as good as some other movies, but I still overall really liked it. I did too. So anything else you wanted to uh, put out there? Mm -hmm. Alright, so next video will possibly be a Survivor Series prediction, since that's tomorrow. And we'll possibly have Ashley joining us. So, until next time, see you later, posse.